Hey, Rob Allen here with Truck Mount Forums. And today what I'd like to show you is how to install, use, and maintain jet extenders for wands. And they have several benefits. Uh, benefit number one that people like to use from it is the fact that it has the no drip uh, inserts in there so it keeps it from dripping on the carpet while you're moving the wand around. It's really an aggravation and you hate it all over hard surfaces and you have to wipe it up a lot more. All right, number two reason is, is it actually moves the water closer to the carpet, your jet stream. So what that does is when the fan comes down and hits it, less heat is lost on its way down. And um, a lot of people want to keep as much heat as possible because they feel like the heat really helps them in cleaning. And also carpet cleaning chemicals are formulated to work with higher heat. So the better heat you get, the better cleaning you get, in my opinion. All right, now they come in one inch size and they also come in half inch sizes. All right, now I prefer the large, longer ones for the one inch for higher profile wands. For the lower profile ones, I'll use a shorter half inch. All right, but they're both available in the store. All right, now let's get started and I'll show you how they're installed. Okay, now we'll take a half inch ratchet wrench. We'll go ahead and break these loose. Loosen the jets. Take them on off. Another really great reason to have jet extenders is a lot of cleaners these days are actually using glides on their wands. And if you're using a glide, now the jets are actually further away from the carpet than what it's designed to do. So by adding the half inch, which we're going to do right now, or the one inch, you actually end up getting it closer. All right, I like to get them started on my finger first. Nice and snug with my fingers. So like I was mentioning, with the advent of glides these days, now you're getting further, the jets and the manifolds are actually further away. So they really come in handy having them. Get it nice and snug first. All right, now the last one. Take your time, make sure you do it really good and you don't strip the threads. One thing you don't want to do is buy a new manifold. So I just gently work them until I get them started. Make sure I'm snug as I can with my fingers. Then I'll take the jets, put those on, finger tight. Because those extenders, sometimes those threads are brand new and they're just a little tough to get started, so you want to really make sure you you get them in nice and straight and don't strip them. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and snug them down. And all you really have to do is snug the jet itself. And the extender will tighten itself too. Okay. Now, a lot of people have different viewpoints of how they want to set up the last jet. I like to leave it at a slight angle, just like that right there. So it give, give myself a little better cleaning right by the shield. All right. Of course, the two center ones here, I'll keep nice and straight. Just snug them in, don't over tighten them. And they won't leak on you. All right, then let's not angle this one right here, just slightly on the ends. Okay, there you go. You notice how you're a lot closer to the carpet now, so you can capture the heat better. And also, if you've got a glide on there, it makes a huge difference. That's how you install them. Okay, now you see how easy it is to install the jet extensions to your wand. It's rather simple, and I've also mentioned all the benefits to it, okay? But I also mentioned early on in the video that I was going to show you how to maintain your purchase. And remember, the half inch size and the one inch size stainless steel jet extenders are available inside of the Truck Mount Warm store. So please, stop by and check them out. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to maintain your fine purchase. What we're going to do is go ahead and take one apart and I'm going to show you what's inside and how they work. All right? And how to keep them clean, how to maintain them, and make them last a long time. All right. Okay. When I go to take it apart, I like to do it right over top of a towel. The reason being is the three components that are in there, especially the little ball and spring, 
very easy to lose on a hard surface so I recommend laying down a towel if you're not using it on a carpeted surface or something of that nature. Okay and notice as it comes out there's the Allen screw and here's the little spring. Now the spring always remember that the smaller part of the cone goes towards the jet. All right, it follows the stream. All right, and then take the ball out of there. Then just take a little bit of cleaner, take a separate towel, clean them up real good, and then just take and drop it back in. Drop the cone spring back in, smaller section first, and the Allen screw. Snug it up a bit. One last little tip too, is you can actually take an air compressor, is what I do, after I have the components out, and I'll blow through it real nicely and make sure it's nice and clear and I'll also take and rinse it under a sink. Alright? That's how you can actually take care of the jet extension itself after you have the components out. Make sure none of the components left in there, you'll blow them off and then you're going to be in some trouble right there. Alright, now don't forget that these are available in the Truck Mount Forum store. I've shown you how to install them, how to maintain them, and also mentioned all the benefits of it. They really do make a big difference. I use them on all my trucks. So stop in the Truck Mount Forum store and get yourself as many as you need for you want. Thanks and have a great day.